Blessings everyone, welcome and thank you for joining me today in this Chakra Activation Series. Today is going to be focused on our solar plexus and in the last video we worked on the sacral. That was a beautiful, beautiful transmission that allowed me to connect very deeply to the womb of the universe the divine creator, the divine creation, the divine portal of creation. And today I'm excited to see what comes through for the solar plexus. I have with me the Pleiadian Council of Light as well as the Octorian Council of Light who wishes to assist in this transmission. So I'm calling upon their assistance, I'm calling upon their guidance, and I ask that you receive this in a state of relaxation. Begin by taking in a deep breath in through your nose, and out through your mouth. <sighs> deep sigh. Repeat this as many times as you need. As I share the messages that they wish to share with all of you about the solar plexus. And they're speaking now. And they say, the solar plexus is the union of the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine. The solar plexus is the energy center where the Divine Feminine and Masculine needs to reside and come together in unity, in harmony, in balance. When the solar plexus is unbalanced, you will experience physical symptoms like overdrive or underdrive. You experience physical symptoms like feeling really lethargic or really burnt out. You will experience the extreme ends of the polarity if this energy center is not in harmony, is not in balance, is not in equanimity. And we shall say that many, 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 many of you, majority of you, living this lifestyle right now, is experiencing a disharmony in your solar plexus. And it is a practice to come back to balance. It is a conscious practice to be in balance, in the zero point field, to access the infinite life force that is transmitting from the earth star chakra, from the core of the earth, through your root, through your sacral, and into your solar plexus. And may we invite you to receive this transmission with an open heart, with an open mind, 
to receive the clearing of all the false templates, conditioning of how you need to live life, how your day-to-day -day life needs to be in order to be productive, in order to be successful. All these labels, all these conditioning allow us to clear them and bring back the harmony and balance of the yin and the yang into your body. Happy December 1st. This is the bell that goes off every first of the month at 12 p.m. in Singapore. The bells of blessings, of new beginnings. So if you can, I ask that you close your eyes to receive this transmission.
Consciousness down, grounding it down into the center of the earth. And in the core of the earth, you find a glowing golden lotus. This is the life force energy of the earth. And allow this golden lotus to slowly move towards the base of your spine. Entering your body, feeling it move through your root, your sacral into your soul places, just a couple of inches above your belly button. Let it just be here. Glowing in this golden light. Balancing this life force energy. There is no need to push Just be. There is no need to rush. Just be. There is no need to prove. Just be. When you can find the divine flow and the divine action, the divine structure, you're in harmony and you're tapping into this infinite field of life, of abundance, of peace. The divine feminine flows in safety, in trust, that everything will work out. When the Divine Feminine is wounded, it doesn't feel safe to flow, and so it tries to control. This is where the Divine Masculine needs to come in. We all have the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine within us as we have mentioned in the previous video. We have both. You do not need to look outside of you to find your Divine Feminine or your Divine Masculine. You find it within yourself. It is within every one of us. So 
So the Divine Masculine is here to help create some sort of structure so that the Divine Feminine can sit back and know that it is fully held and it's safe to flow. So we need both. And when the Divine Masculine is wounded, it keeps replaying the stories that it needs to keep going, to be there, to be the strong one, to provide for the family, to provide, needs to be the one. And the Divine Feminine is there, rising, to show him that it is okay to step back and to allow the Divine Flow to bring everything into harmony. Now visualize two separate balls of light. One the Divine Feminine, one the Divine Masculine. Just coming together and swirling together and rising from the base of your spine, from your root, all the way up towards your crown, the top of your head. Like a seraphim, spiraling, intertwining, coming together in harmony and allow it to rise up your spine. Maya Keshu Sui Tarayasa Maya Keshu Sui Tarayasa Maya Keshu Sui Tarayasa Meyake, 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 ayaya, meyake, 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 ayaya, sha, seya, wara, ye, ye, what do I Thank you everyone for joining me today. If you feel called to continue to be in this state, then see what comes through for you. I'm sending all my love and I'll see you in our next one.